You are Templar. Sprawl. We finally made it to the Gore Complex. Let's see what this has to say. The GDR, uh, the Gore Complex was created during the last corporate war under the supervision of Aeon Corp. Formerly the largest cybernetics conglomerate operating within the sprawl. Here they, they experimented on human subjects with pi and pioneered a whole new s a chapter in the human exercise of cruelty. It was here that the Reaper program, you, Six, and the others were part of was developed. Uh, the Junta was most likely become aware of what you are planning to do here. They are going to deploy whatever they can to stop you, including space lasers. That last part may have been added in for dramatic effect. We finally made it inside the Gore Complex. Something messed up. <laughs> Something messed up. Oh, remember the gore complex? What the? Oh, that's a good checkpoint. Me getting shot. mouse and keyboard for this game being able to shoot them while not in <laughs> while in free aim mode with no sticky ridicule probably would have been way easier Like, way easier than what it is right now. Will you look at me while I'm talking to you? Alright, he's dead. Is it a failure? Or is it the critical system success that we were looking for? Night. Ammo. Rogan ammo. We're doing pretty good now all of a sudden. What is that? It's not the railgun. Must be the last gun. The grand finale gun that we've been looking for. Or... Whoa! Copernicus! Where's the other one? There you are. That was a bit tricky. Or... unnecessary oh good goes all my armor every single robots on a platform just constantly shooting down at me now wait, wait this is where I was what okay a bridge is there now okay <laughs> I was like wait a minute I 
know why. SMG ammo is hard hard to come by in these late these missions for some reason. All right. That being said, am I supposed to come over here? No. I'm supposed to find the secret to life over here. There you go. No, very rarely do we run into enemies in these narrow corridors. Critical system failure, failure. Is it a failure? Or is it just a critical system success that's told a story differently? Well... Oh, I'm back here. Ah, for the love of Pete's dragon. What is that sound? It's all clinkety clankety in here. Oh, there's more enemies up here in the future sections. Of course, there's a rail gun. Why wouldn't there be? to sell. up here? No. Nothing. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> A sneeze coming along as well, and I can't climb up here now for some reason. Exploit deleted. Feels like I'm trying a little bit harder than usual, to be honest with y'all.
Hold on. I'm trying to deal with this sneeze. I have so the dust is gathering in here for some reason. There it is. Death from above. Rocket launcher. Oh, good. That's nice. Oh! Might as well use it now. Hi. Oh, this thing kind of sucks. <laughs> I am, um, uh... Oh, you have to use it really close. Oh, oh, okay. You know what, let me come down here and think about it. That's not good. That's not good. That's actually a big, huge, uh, flaw. If the rocket launcher sucks in your game, that's something you gotta go back to the drawing board for. And it's not that it... It's not that bad, it's just like... You just introduced it, then you just introduced the enemy that drops the ammo for it. And it takes four shots, and it's got to... It's got about like a 20 foot range before all of your rockets just spread out randomly. Which I don't mind a swarm rocket launcher, but like... Like a shotgun rocket launcher is fine, it's great. But the fact that they lose all sense of direction after 20 feet, like they go forward and then they go... This is basically just an oversized shotgun that's not as good as the shotgun. Like the amount of damage it did to that robot was... laughable. Like, this this shotgun's this this is like if you're trying to conserve like power weapon ammo for the boss fight you're probably gonna burn through this one first and not even be worried about it like that was bad <laughs> that was not good that was the opposite of good that was terrible <laughs> of all the guns so far I found them to have not the an unstoppable weapon, but to have like a niche, like way to use them, that's fine. I'm not sure these guys have weak a weakness. So I just sort of shoot them. These little, these little fly boys are a little bit too tough, in my opinion, for their capabilities. He's over there now. Oh, here he comes. there since there's no place to hide and it's just like a straight line kind of feels like you have to cap them out hmm because they use an automatic weapon the amount of damage your automatic weapons do to them is super minuscule. Too much you get no sticky ridicule with them for some reason, unless you're super close. Is their weak spot their eye? Or their joints? I literally get no color deviation for them. And they don't drop anything either, so they're just terrible. They... Probably the most, not the most difficult enemy to deal with, but definitely the most annoying. I 
now I'm out of slow mo, so I can't aim for nothing. <laughs> And the Gore Complex doesn't mess around, but I don't think it's like actually difficult. I think it's just annoying. Um. Okay. Okay, this is. Does this game have a... Uh... It does have hybrid. Let me get in here. Ooh, that's terrible. Hold on. Also, oh, what the hell? Okay, there, that, that activated now. Give me a second. Let's take a look at this. wheel. Interesting how 2 is shotgun and 3 is SMGs. his melee? I mean, he, if he is used in ours... I mean, there is no reload, though. And for some reason, right stick or right click is slow-mo. I know, I'm starting. To, I'm trying to relearn a... Hold on, let me just die for a second. So I lost way too much health. F is melee. We hit kind of a wall on this part. But we switched to mouse and keyboard real quick so that we can do that. This part's a little bit ridiculous. We're gonna need that precision. <laughs> uh, 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 also, for some reason, Wazda stops working every now and then if you're not careful. Ah. Alright, let's get him over here. Kill me, I'm here! Options here. That ain't so bad. This is annoying.
Okay. We got him. I have no idea what happened there. he do so much damage all right he died yes I see you Interestingly enough, there is no, like, okay, I don't like the way you move with the keyboard, definitely doesn't feel right. That's good. That's nice. I ha oh, are you kidding me? This is horrendous. I'm gonna switch back to the controller here in a second. There's nowhere to go. <laughs> I'll just fall down and I guess that is favorable to dying because now I just teleport back to where I was. But still, it's kind of uninstinctual. Un I'm not, they didn't give me a bunch of railgun to deal with this, you know what I mean? It's not like I have a obscene amount of ammo here. So in this place where I can't dodge left and right or backtrack or take cover, like this is the best that I can do. movement is super uncomfortable for me because I just switched I got so used to the controller <laughs> but yeah this movement okay so down you gotta scroll down to go lower weapons is everything dead now I'm supposed to go back up now Now I come up here. It's not so bad. It's just with the the G Does this have mouse movement smoothing? I'm 
No. Oh, let's go over here. This is just speed controls, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, it's, it is like a terrible time to just... I gotta change that. That just feels uninstinctually... It just feels wrong. <laughs> it just it just feels wrong. That's not that's not F. That's not melee. Okay. Although it does make it really hard to like straight right while using slow mo. I figure it just that just makes way more sense. Combat wise. Gonna, now that I'm through the narrow area that required me to snipe, I'm gonna switch back to controller. If I had started the game on mouse and keyboard, maybe I'd be more comfortable with it, but that, like. Oh. What is happening? How come I can only move against the water? I think the water is supposed to like take me and like I'm not supposed to be able to control it. There you go. Some sort of glitch happened there. Generators above. Overload them all, and the lockdown procedure for the Gore complex will shut down, granting you access. Make your way up. Sounds good to me. Oh, dang it. Ah, uh, okay. For me, the controls make me think that it was definitely designed. To be used on controller. Although the aiming, the only thing is the free aiming. I feel like the free aiming is the only thing to where it feels like it was made for mouse. I need some sort of weird hybrid for this game. Call me crazy, but like going back to like mouse and keyboard, having the melee be F and also crouch being shift feels unnatural. <laughs> Maybe control being crouch should be correct, but I don't know. It felt, it felt fan fandangled to me. Maybe that's why this game didn't get as popular because it's an older game and it's got like good reviews but it never got like big i think it was the controls control can be a very important thing when it comes to like the game you know what i mean how well it'll do I'm deciding. There you go. And definitely like the wall running and the jumping just doesn't feel as smooth or as intuitive on mouse and keyboard. I feel like if I had started off, it would. Like, if I restarted the game and started playing on mouse and keyboard, I'd get used to it.
but I don't know. Using... It's hard to describe, because you got a wall run and then look to where you're going to jump with the mouse. It's probably just like, you just gotta get used to it. That's probably it. Because there's other games where I played plenty of shooters on the mouse and keyboard. Now, and at now, after doing all of this, after doing all this YouTube business, there's plenty of boomer shooters that I went through on mouse and keyboard and it was fine. But I can't, now I can't, there's nothing I can compare it to to where like there was wall running involved. Where I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know what, uh, if the wall running was more like this game, then it probably would have been fine. I mean, my field of view... It chose him first for some reason, so we're gonna do him first. No questions. Just movement. Well, let's go grab this armor over here real quick. I feel like grabbing this first. Just in case this is a checkpoint right here. It is. I see him. I think their eye is definitely their weakness. But definitely barrel barrel stuffing them with the shotgun seems to be the fastest way to deal with those dang drones. section. As the enemies are concerned, there's definitely a design flaw with the berserkers. They can't back, they can't, they can't leap like freaks. Which is fine, I'll take the, I'll take the W. But, comparatively speaking. Aha! to mention the big guys taking four grenades to kill but only dropping a max of three. I mean, I think that's part of the game though, now, now that I think about it. Now that I'm over here like analyzing it further just cause now I've had the experience with the rocket launcher and the mouse and keyboard. Now I'm sort of looking at this game and going, hmm, there are some cracks in the armor. These dudes are annoying and don't drop any drops. The um, uh, the guns seem like set. I feel like that's the part of the puzzle element though, so I guess this is like a half critique, is that like, the guns, like every enemy has like a weakness and you have to use that weakness. Otherwise there's no like, there's no brute forcing. Uh-huh. 
These are just my opinions, though. From playing through the game, it definitely feels like they should have had sticky ridicule when it came to free aim right here when you're not using slow-mo for controller. Also, I don't know, there's something about the free running on mouse and keyboard. I feel like maybe that's like too, might be too harsh. Maybe it's just the, I should have gotten used to, um, uh, used to get, like, try to play through the entire game on mouse and keyboard so they can get used to it. Give it a full shake, you know what I mean? Which I might. I might do that. Once we beat the game, I might go back and play again on a lower difficulty or maybe just on normal with the mouse and keyboard, depending on how I feel. To just give it a fair shake, see how it feels. But honestly, I don't know, there's something about... There's definitely having the default for crouch being shift feels wrong and the melee being F feels wrong. But then when you think about it, like, slow-mo being right click, I just, oh, that feels, I don't know, that feels weird, because now, in my opinion, now you're holding down left trigger, left click while clicking right click, which is super easy, but, like, what other game makes you, I'm trying to think of another game or program that makes you do that, other than, like, maybe, like, an art program where you're, like, editing something. Can't think of it. It feels uninstinctual to me, be holding down both left and right mouse click at the same time to do something. I can, I'm trying having trouble thinking of something that does that. Did it crush me twice? What the hell was that? I will say it is very forgiving when it comes to the parkour puzzles. Because if you fall down, you just teleport back up. I don't think you even lose any armor or health if you fit, if you get crushed by an elevator or one of these crushinating devices. So it is very forgiving on that part. Now that I think about it, it's also all, ch all checkpoint based. You can't make your own saves. Which that might be a minor critique depending on what type of game it is, you know what I mean? Because like, a super linear game like this, first person shooter, that happened all the time, but also it's trying to... It's trying to emulate the old school games. And I feel like a lot of old school shooters did let you do that. So like, if they wanted to increase difficulty and challenge, they could have just introduced that. That's how I feel, though. As the, if they wanted to keep the difficulty of, like, you take damage or you die when you go through those chompers or you fall down, I feel like they could have just implemented a save and... a hard save and soft save system. So, honestly, everything could probably stay the same, and it's just something you just gotta get used to and work with it. But, mouse and keyboard controls felt a little bit wonky. But my number one complaint is probably the rocket launcher sucks. Yeah, that's probably my number one complaint. Like, if there's one thing they have to change that I would not change my mind on or backtrack on or say well maybe you know what i mean there's like all the other ones it's like maybe i feel like maybe it depends on the player the gamer but number one that i feel like would definitely like i could never be convinced that it doesn't need to be fixed or changed is uh the rocket launcher kind of sucks just does. It shouldn't, but it does.
got him. Not to mention... Okay. You can't seem to get a headshot between their arms. It seems like the hitbox makes it to where, like, when, you, when I'm shooting up from underneath them, the hitbox just says, you know what, you're... Sh you're shooting their, um, uh... You're, you're shooting their arms, not their head. Even though I'm clearly aiming for their head. That's kind of... It's kind of bad, especially for a game to where getting headshots is essential for certain, like, enemies. thing they do. Does help me out more often than not. <laughs> There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good to the game. I'm honestly surprised it wasn't bigger, but like... I feel like a lot of other people are harsher with their games and what they expect them to, do, to be like. So, if I had to guess why this game didn't get as big... It will be that in certain ways, it's not difficult enough for some people. But at the same time, like, it's also kind of annoying. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I, and I'll, honestly, if it hadn't been for that section where, like, it was super narrow, so it was even harder to dodge enemy attacks. And it forced me to uh, use the railgun and snipe enemies out, especially like those very annoying hover robots. I probably wouldn't even be talking about this, but that that part right there alone opened it up for me to where I was like, oh, okay, you know what? Now that you mentioned it, <laughs> I kind of want to talk about all of this stuff now. Wait, did that do decent damage against them? Oh, I actually did. I actually did. Huh. I'll take the W, but it seems the Berserkers are heavily land, kind of landlocked in their abilities. Now what's up with these guys? I get that, like, they're the absorb your grenade enemy, which is fine. But I don't like that there's no weak spot. You can't, like, hit the head. Like, you have to shoot the grenades, which is fine. Kind of like a puzzle gimmick, which is fine. But, like, there's no fast way to actually deal with them. There's no, like, weak spot on the robot. Even, like, the head. The back of the head, something. I don't know, I feel like that's missing a part right there. Also, did I come over here and not even push this button? I did. <laughs> Music's real good, though. Gameplay-wise, when using controller, and once you understand how to play the game, very good. What? The Gorkom is actually giving me the business. What the? What? This is a terrible checkpoint. Hold on. Alright, that kind of worked out. Whoa! See what I'm saying? I 
Okay. It's like very little room for margin of error. You know what I mean? Which which is fine. That reminds me of Servant Steel. Servant Steel did that too. But it's like, please, dude. Basically, yeah, you definitely want to keep on moving. Actually, all right, it's good to get the berserkers at least. The problem is the Berserkers drop chain gun ammo that they don't use. And the chain gun slows you down when you shoot it, but not when you carry it, even though it'd be the same weight. In fact, the recoil should be helping you move backwards faster. Yeah, it's just uh, it's a combination of things. As you can see, all I did was keep on moving and like Environmental awareness seems to be the number one, like, most important thing about this game. And... Just having that is enough to turn the entire tide of battle. They give you plenty of ammo and armor, at least for normal difficulty. And you just gotta sort of, like... I guess... In a strange way to describe this game, it's like when you're eating really hot food, and instead of blowing on it, you just put your mouth in and you do the hot ha 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 thing. That's kind of like the way you play this game. You just jump in, full DNA. The entire system is overloaded. We need to make it out quickly. The cooling tank up ahead will have an access point to the outside. Okay, so we need to leave quickly. We'll, we'll leave quickly. Seven, watch out. Oh no, a sequence! Class 7 prototype. This sublacket is never deployed. So you must destroy Wait. it so I can land a transport. Our time is running out here. What do I destroy? Oh. That? Wait, what am I supposed to do? sucks. Seriously?
I think it's so bad. Ooh, ammo. That's why I need. Or it really sucks. Focus mode has definitely been activated. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna need that. Oh god. I finally did a decent amount of damage to my armor. That's how we can't swim. We're doing all right, not great. I'm a big enough target now to where that's gonna be more viable. Damn. Wait for it. Okay. He's tough. But he ain't invincible. The Spire! The boss fights, as soon as you learn the gimmick, ain't so bad. Honestly, at least he made sense. At least he had weak spots that were hittable. I think it's because their hitboxes are bigger as well. But like, the tiny enemies, I mean, especially like the little drone one, hate them. The little, the regular robots were their only weak spots, either the head or if they have a jetpack, the jetpack. All right, I guess I'll leave now. Still though, oh, that's the, like one of the longest episodes of this game I've ever had too. Going through, just going through the gore complex, had some problems, ran into some difficulties, but that was the end of episode two. I'm surprised. They definitely turned it up right there. I imagine they're going to do the same thing for this once we get to the final boss. I know that, like, this is the last episode. Or, yeah, episode. And then they have the uh, chapters in them. But, yeah, this actually made me stop and think. Just because, like, without the sticky ridicule cool on the controller, when you're free aiming, it makes sniping with the Rogue. And the Rogue doesn't have a scope either. So it's like, actually, maybe it does. I could have swore I clicked the other clickers. I don't think it does. I'll double check that. I don't think any of the gun guns have like a zoom feature. But trying to snipe with it, you had to go to mouse and keyboard so you can have the accuracy because otherwise you have to use a slow-mo to snipe with it. But then if you use it in slow-mo, you don't get the sticky ridicule really cool unless you're really close to the enemy. And then like the little drones don't have a weak spot. So you just sort of hammer them. I find the best way to deal with them is just get super close to them and shotgun them. But yeah. I wouldn't have stopped to analyze it right now in this episode so hard if it hadn't been for that spot. That spot right there, where it was a narrow pathway. I mean, granted, falling down does nothing. It's still annoying and cumbersome, and it feels like a, it feels like an L, because you fell down and you had to reload. And it's like, it's not even like a checkpoint reload. It's like literally the last place where you were standing before you fell down. Which is fine, 
which makes it easy, but at the same time, not really, because you can still die to the enemies shooting you, especially, with, like, depending on where you spawn. Because, like, twice in that chapter, there were two checkpoints where as soon as I reloaded, there were two... There were two berserkers running right at me, and I had like a second to dodge their attacks. They do a lot of damage. If they catch up to you and punch you, punch you, that's a lot of damage. So it's definitely like the bread and butter to beating anything in this game, at least, seems to be just keep on moving. Manage your ammo. I manage managing. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine managing your ammo in harder difficulties becomes more, way more prominent in the grand scheme. But yeah, I don't know. I might have to restart off camera on mouse and keyboard and get an actual feel for it because maybe it's I feel like that's the way it was originally designed to play but at the same time holding down both left trips left click and right click is not difficult to do it just feels it just feels wrong to me I'm trying to think of another game that would do that maybe a racing game I don't know if you change the controls to where one's accelerate and one's actually uh, I've never played a racing game on mouse and keyboard, now that I think about it. Oh, I have no idea what it feels like. But anyway, like, I think I've said enough. I'm going to leave this one right here. Otherwise, I'm just going to circle back and start reiterating things I already, re already said. Uh, but thank you all. Ewok Temple, we're going through, um, uh... Sprawl. I remember the game name. It's right, it's right there. <laughs> it's a... Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. It's not the rail gun. It must be the last gun. The grand finale gun that we've been looking for. Or... Whoa! Copernicus! Where's the other one? There you are. That was a bit tricky.